Right, can you say hello? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our day. Welcome to our day. <laughs> Good evening. So, this vlog is going to be about this little. <laughs> Dixie's just like, it's going to be about me, ma'am. Me and my dog people. Dixie, last go. Okay? Last go. It's because we've just celebrated with her because she just got it out of the rocker. And. Oh, sorry, I went on this. <laughs> and she's so tired that her whole front of her face is grey and she has no white silver eyes left. No. So she needs to lie down. She does. She's done it. I yes. She'll stay like that. <laughs> so, yeah, this vlog is about this little girl. Um, I don't know if I've said, but we set up her Instagram. Um, I'll leave her Instagram name in the description um and when we set it up we were we try and do daily pictures but it doesn't always happen um just like with the vlogs really um and when we set it up i just said to Seth, i was like can you imagine your nose is whistling and it's bugging me anybody else get that <laughs> <laughs> How do you think I feel? Sometimes you get a whistly nose and a whistly tube. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, so when we were setting it up, we were like, can you imagine if we got to do, like be a brand rep? <laughs> now all we need is Dixie. Oh, princess. Um, wouldn't that just like be super cool? Um, like bringing in inclusion for like reborns, because let's face it, they wear a baby doll, but baby human clothes, as this little girl knows, as we've spent quite a bit on her lately. And, um, lo and behold, about four days after we've set the page up, we get a message. I want in Nova to be, um, a brand rep. Um, first of all, we was like, all well, dead excited all like all in the hype um was just like yeah well, we like we'd love to do it um but you're... just to clarify you are aware that, that she's, she's a reborn, reborn out. out of a lay down lay down rest your face and they were just like yep yeah, we're aware um reborn dolls get treated we're aware that reborn dolls get treated just as like much the same as human babies because they are loved just as much and spoiled just as much and we were like wow like this company mm. but it's very inappropriate you did say all that was left was me man <laughs> yeah can you lie down you're making the people rock good girl kind of um and we were just like this is absolutely amazing they really do understand the importance of reborn dolls to people um and what they can bring for people who are lonely who have lost babies or just those that want a reborn doll like in a collection and then this is not working out no right right girls, girls down off. and I'm you off and then they were just like, alright, all we've got to do is this, this and this and we can get it sorted. And it literally sounded amazing. Like, we would get 50% off anything we buy as long as we tag them and, like, put in the um, description box that we are a brand rep for this company. Um, and... What was, like, I think it was... And, like, we would have, like, a coupon code that was specific for us that um, 
anybody who followed the link and put in the code like from us was it 25 percent? i think it was yeah they would get like a nice amount of money off of any of their purchases as well and we were like this is literally the best we looked at their clothes we already picked out ones that we would buy over time and everything looked legit like they had like they've got a lot of followers they've got yeah they've got like nearly 200,000 followers yeah, they've got a lot of people who um were like already brand reps and things like that yeah um and then yesterday off please just before off. obviously we get paid, we got paid today so um to get it going you had to like buy something to like generate the coupon code which is what most brand reps do um like you have to buy something and then you get the money off because we've that we've been asked to be um our girls to be mm. brand reps before but like with that the stuff was just too expensive yeah. and we Even didn't fall in love with it off, we couldn't afford it yeah um so obviously there was about four hours before midnight and um, we were due to get paid, and I said to Sophie, I was like, right, I have one more look. And then I suddenly said to her, I was like, should we just trust Pilot it? And I'm waiting for you to go. I was pulling the duvet, and you're on the duvet. She's like playing with it, like the, yeah. playing with the duvet. Um, so, Sophie started typing it into Google. Oh, no, please. off. And then we oh. said we were going to put it into the trust pilot, but... Like, you know when you t start typing something into Google and, like, it comes up with suggestions? Well, the first suggestion was April Moon... The company is called April Moon yeah. Boutique. The first company was April Moon Boutique. That was the first um, suggestion. And then underneath that, like, straight away, it was... Um, fraud on April something. Moon boutique scam scam that was it yeah so we were just like well that's a very highly off oh jeez so yeah it just it didn't look good from the, like that no. point and then we saw some videos that went onto YouTube so we watched a few videos and the people in their videos like all they were basically saying was that Yes, they got the money off. Yes, it was cheap. Um, when they received the clothes, they didn't receive everything. Um, and the clothes didn't look as high quality as what a boutique mm. would be. Um, and that some of them looked like they came from Wish or AliExpress or something like that. Um, and it, like the finish on them just wasn't the best. Mm. Um so it wasn't the case that they were taking their money and not receiving the products. It I was mean, that the products wasn't some stuff brilliant. That was that the case? Yeah. But, um, most of the ones that we saw, they did eventually give them a refund for the ones that didn't turn up. Yeah. It took a lot of like, like pushing and hassle yeah. and things like that. But that was only videos from the people who said that they were brown reps. Yeah. Um, and then obviously there was a ton of comments in their YouTube videos. And then when we were just generally looking on the internet anyway, there was, like, a ton of comments of people stating the exact same. Um, and was it you that found it, or was it somebody else that found that there was, like, a 125... Um... There's, like, a, there's this website, I can't remember what it's called, but it tells you how many active coupons there are for, like, websites and stuff. And this one had like 151 active coupons and each active coupon um, is linked was, to a brand is rep. Linked to a brand rep. So we were just like, yes, that yes, there are several brand reps out there, but every single comment or review that we saw, apart from like the odd one or two, was really negative yeah. and people saying that they didn't receive their stuff and people saying that they didn't end up getting the money off that they were supposed to get off and like the quality and all of these sorts of things and like everyone was saying that it was a scam so and like to have for a for a small time boutique um 
to have 125 brand reps. It just, it, it's not normal. Yeah, and on one of the videos, the lady was saying that they type in baby into like Instagram and they send um, the same brand rep sort of... We would love for you to... Yeah, to everyone. ...be a brand rep. And on one of them, it was on a picture, they said that... Um, uh, your your baby's absolutely beautiful and in the picture the baby was so far in the background mm. and like out of focus that there was no way they could know that that you yeah. wouldn't even know if their baby was a boy or a girl it was that yeah like or even the color of their hair yeah definitely. it was that undescribable because mm. it was so blurry yeah um so obviously that also put alarm bells and stuff I mean, a lot of the people who were brand reps did say that they did receive the stuff, like at least some of the stuff. But the problem with that is we, the last thing we want to do, the, there are two things that we don't want to happen. Mm. We don't want to buy something from there and get scammed. Exactly. But we also don't want to buy something from there, have a positive experience and then recommend them to you guys and to people on our Instagram and everything, and then for you guys to be scammed. Yeah. Because we're feeling like that might be what they're doing. Like, they might be being reasonably genuine with the brand rep people, but not with the people who follow on from the brand yeah. reps who... Um, to pay a lot of money yeah. and um, either don't get the quality products or don't get their products at all or they don't get the refunds exactly and that's the last thing we want we we don't want to for the people that we've built trust with with our youtube with our instagrams on whatever else we don't want to hinder that trust in any way because it's taken a lot to build this trust with you guys and i know there's compared to others there isn't many of you but for each person that is a subscriber on our YouTube or a follower on our Instagrams, like, they're not just there because we want the numbers. We're there because we interact and mm. we want to make sure that your life is as good as possible and if we can help in any way, whatever, even if it's just emotionally over the internet. Yeah. Um, and the last thing we want, especially with, like, all the shit from COVID this year and whatever else, like... We don't want people getting scammed. We don't want people to have this hell with money when people are struggling financially anyway because they're not being able to work. Exactly, which is why if we ever um, like recommend someone to you or something to you guys, we mean it genuinely because we like it. Yeah. Um, and then if we have a problem with something or with someone, we also tell you guys because... Obviously, our experience is important in terms of, like, other people's thoughts. Because if something goes wrong for us, then it could go wrong for you. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll always tell you guys. So, our excitement of Little Miss Nova Rain being a brand rep soon disappeared quite rapidly. Yeah. Oh, and one other thing was... Um, after they said that the clothes that they received was from Wish and places like that, we had a look on Wish and AliExpress and Joom. And the clothes appeared. And all of the clothes, same photos, um, exactly the same clothes, same um, packets. So like if it was like a multi-pack of onesies, it was the exact same advertisement photo yeah. and everything. Yeah. So, obviously, you know. So, yeah, good. keep an eye out for the company April Moon Boutique. Yes. Just just avoid them. Yeah. That's all you can do. Um, just to be safe, really. Um, but if there's any people out there that want our little baby girl to be a brand rep, just let us know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's basically it, really. Yeah. Otherwise, we've just been chilling again. My back's still not brilliant. Like, it's really crap in the morning. Kind of in the afternoon, it's a little bit better. I can move quite well. And then from about tea time onwards... Yeah, it's just hell on earth. Yeah. 
so we're still staying up here because what I don't want is to get downstairs and then be stuck. Yeah, well, that wouldn't be ideal. Um, so the, when, the only time I'm going to actually start going downstairs is when I know that I'll be able to mobilise mm. on and off the stair lift safely and yeah. just things like that. Exactly, like when you have like a couple days at least in a row of manageable pain. Which is a little bit frustrating because on Monday, sif has got a hospital appointment. Shit, that's Monday. And we've actually got to go like to the hospital. So I'm going to need to try and get my back going because we need to get there. Yay. Mm. We'll see. Yeah. So, other than that, thanks for coming on this day with us. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. I lost my dummy. Fell down. Good night. Oh, and, uh, gorgeous little dress match. I'll say so. Yeah. And. Oh.